first another edition of Down and Out. And today we're circling the New Jersey Devils who missed the playoffs once again. But I look back at this year, Frank, 27, 43 and 7. Not the record they wanted, obviously. Fifth worst goals against per game. I think that's been a big issue throughout the years that they just couldn't find a way to get consistent goaltending. They did finish right near the middle of the league in goals four per game. I look at what went on this year in New Jersey. Not a successful season by any means, but I think maybe this is a team that, despite missing the playoffs, is showing their building momentum towards the future. So if the question was buy or sell, am I buying that the Devils are building momentum? Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'm buying. I'm not selling, but I'm kind of neutral on the answer, and that's not to be on the fence. It's that I thought they'd be better than what they have shown. Um, and part of the reason of some of that is injury, of course. The biggest question, Mark, you mentioned the goals against facing the New Jersey Devils this year is their goaltending. They don't trust Mackenzie Blackwood. Um, he's been hurt, of course, but I think more to the point, I think there's serious questions about whether he can get back to the level that he was at really just a few seasons ago, 915 save percentage, 918 save percentage, two and three years back. He hasn't been nearly as good. They, it's hard to find a goalie that fits. It's hard to find a goalie certainly that fits your age scheme. He would have been that at age 25. I think their GM and Tom Fitzgerald has done a really good job assembling difference makers. You know, you look at Jack Hughes and the contract. You look at Nico Heischer. You look at Dougie Hamilton on the back end. Positionally, those some of those pieces are starting to come together. I don't think we've talked enough about Jesper Bratt and the season that he's had. He's been flat out unbelievable at a point per game uh, and the steps that he's taken to increase, you know, 40 plus points off of last season's production, but they've still got a ways to go. Uh, Miles Wood, they've got miles and miles to go uh, in order to get to where they want to get to. Great line, Frank. Uh, yeah, they got some key RFAs here they got to take care of as well. But I mean, P.K. Subban's $9 million comes off the books. They're going to have north of $20 million to spend. They showed us last summer. They're willing to get aggressive in free agency. They have all their they have all their picks throughout the draft, and then a couple of bonus ones they picked up via trade in the fourth round as well, as you can see here. Um, I, I wonder if this is a team that we should maybe be keeping an eye on and going, hey, they might get active this summer and try to put the finishing pieces on. You mentioned the Mackenzie Blackwood story. That's fascinating as well. But they could be a busy team this summer. They they probably will be. I would suggest that they probably need to be more active and leverage that cap space on the trade front rather than on the free agency front. Yes, they went out and landed the biggest fish on defense last year in Dougie Hamilton. Could they maybe be in the mix for a guy like Johnny Gaudreau, given that he's a Jersey guy, he's a South Jersey guy, not a North Jersey guy? Maybe he wants to be closer to home. Maybe they can throw the most money at him, but they need more difference makers. And more than anything, they need a goalie because without the goaltending, none of the rest of it's going to matter.